Welcome back, everybody. One of our favorite guests is wrapping up a visit here at home. He's the kind of guy who's followed a very tried and true path here in the tri-state. UC College of Engineering grad P&G employee, stand-up comedian who has performed on all seven continents, by the way. First person to do that. Rajiv South, y'all, welcome back to Good Morning Cincinnati. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to be back. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're going to get to all the things, what you've been doing in town, what you got going on, but I don't know that I've ever actually asked you where did you perform in Antarctica? Oh, yes. Good question. So I was on the peninsula yeah. and it was about 35 degrees. That's not really well, that's that not cold. That bad. No, it was colder in Cincinnati, probably <laughs> in December of 2019, right before the pandemic. And I performed for, you know, people and penguins. <laughs> yeah. Who was the better audience? I'd say the penguins, you know, because I'm a brown guy. They're black and white. It's a lot of diversity. A lot of diversity good. happening. That's, good. that's the kind of thing we're looking yeah. for. Um, <laughs> brouhaha over the weekend. Was it a good time? It was a good time. You know, the funny thing is a lot of comics come on here to promote something they have coming up. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about the brouhaha, which has already happened and I wasn't a part of. So let's talk about that. Let's talk all about stuff that's already in the past. Actually, the, the guy, the organizer is like, if you've got time, come on down. Yeah. But I was busy here in town celebrating my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, and mom's sitting right over there. Right over there. 5-0. Awesome. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah. like 43 more than, than me. And you have just recently become a father, so yes. are, you, are you mentally preparing for what your child is going to put you through based on what you put them through? I think that uh, there's karma. See, that, this, that, that's our religion is karma. We, we brought that to the fore. So it's coming back. He is a handful, yeah. which is amazing. He's a COVID baby. Oh, wow. Uh, the great thing about a COVID baby is you know it's yours. Although we had a lot of Amazon deliveries, so I don't know. Wow. You never know. Is that too much for the 9 a.m. So throw that one right up to you. Yeah, you just turn, go. Just that turn on that one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's, Left field fence. That's Let's so go. Good. How, how does that change things for you as a, as a new dad and being on the road so much? How's that deal? You don't go out for very long. You're not out at sea much anymore. Yeah. I mean, whether it's Antarctica or Cincinnati or anywhere else, <laughs> you come back because you need to be there to you know take your son to daycare. Yeah. I feel like Joe Pesci. What movie was that? He was always home to, to give daycare. breakfast oh, to his son. Oh gosh, Frank what was Casino it? or was that Goodfellas? Or was that Goodfellas? I can't remember which one. We look that one, up. one of those where Joe Pesci was doing very Joe Pesci things. Yeah. Um, so in addition to, to going out and doing what you do on stage, let's talk about the YouTube show a little bit. Sure. YouTube show at watchrajiv.com. Very, very, you know, very self-reflective here. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, good, good website. It hadn't been taken yet. Watchrajiv.com. <laughs> figure. And I've had a lot of people on. Hassan Minaj, Deepak Chopra, Lily Singh. And we get a lot of insights from people who just, you know, come through. We have all these one-minute clips on my Instagram. Yeah. Because people just don't have the attention span to watch a 45-minute episode. No, it can How like, long is this show? Like this. We're, we, we're, the fact we've been talking this long is a miracle. Um, <laughs> now, you're sort of venturing out into, into podcasts as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's going to kind of tap into that same community, that comedian right. community. What's that going to be about? Well, I just feel like stand-up comedy is this, you know, it's sort of the soundtrack of everything that's happening, right? Yeah. You, people turn to comedians now more than anyone else because we're like a trusted source of information, <laughs> right? If you look at the people who follow it, if it's Bill Maher, Joe Rogan, anywhere on the political spectrum, right. like, oh, I wonder what they're saying. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, in the media, who, we, don't, we don't, you know, thanks, buddy. government, thanks. Anyway, I'm here. Pre but appreciate hey, you. Thanks. But, no, but, but people look to us <laughs> and be like, oh, what's the comedic take on this? Make us laugh while we're crying. Yeah. And we we, we want to showcase that. But the temperature has changed so much. Yeah. It, and it, is that something you'll dive into as well? Because, you know, uh, well, I guess you can't say this anymore. You can't yeah. say that. And, but some people do. They'll, they'll, they'll touch that rail. Sure. Do, do you know what I mean? And how do, you, how do you balance that? I think you have to start with, you know, if you're going in with your honest take on things, and yeah. you just say that, hey, look, we're going to embrace everything here. We're going to talk about everything. You know, some people don't like when you platform people. I'm like, look, stuff went underground. Things got crazy on the left and the right. I'm not saying sure. that. But it, either way, it's just like, I think it's better if we just talk about this stuff yeah and whether it's politics or comedy or anything else so we're gonna deep dive into stand-up comedy figure out you know what these comics have been saying it's been 50 years of comedy specials that have been coming out oh yeah and oh. so it's, it's kind of a kind of a milestone I for mean us. you're I so saw you're talking to a guy who you know when an HBO special came up or when you know, USA used to do the comedians and it would just be on yeah. all night long I mean I, I yeah. was I was locked into that world I know you're about the same age so I'm sure you were as well yeah so, I know I'm the, we're the same age but we have a very different a father experience I'm what 46 with one child yeah yeah, I've got I've got the four. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna leave your age out there. That's yeah, okay. We, we can Google. Yeah, no, we can know. Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah they, they know. They know. know. Um, best way to find you, keep up with you, all that kind of stuff. I think uh, for those clips, Instagram. Yeah. Dot com slash Funny Indian. Okay. You know that, that's that's that's, that's a nice. Gen Xer. I could have just said at Funny Indian. But, yeah. You know, I, I spell it out. I put the <laughs> HTTP colon slash slash. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know that. That's not a backslash. You still remember getting online and you hear the gung gung? Yeah, the, 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 the yeah, thing that would uh, buzz in your ear. That'll make us all. I know, so you're sending a fax. A little bit. Thanks for taking time today. Hey, man, thanks for having me. I Have a good flight. Heading back to L.A. from here today? Today. All Going right. back. Cool. Go back to good old Burbank. All right, buddy. Good luck with everything. All right.